Product comes shipped from Federal Express, so you'll be able to have a tracking number. It's going to come with two bars for hanging your food on, eight hooks, this little hook um, puller, I guess is what you call it, and ready to go with Pit Barrel cool Cooker Beef and Game Rub and also All Purpose Pit Rub. Uh, the manufacturer suggests this should be used for chicken and stuff, and this right here is for Spices pork and beef. And hooks and everything you need to get it going that day, except for, well, you don't even, actually even need any lighter fluid. You can use a charcoal chimney if you want to. It's just a little slower. Um, but it comes with everything that you need that day, including charcoal. Um, now this thing, there's two primary things you worry about on a UDS when you first get it before you ever attach anything to it. And there are many different designs, designs to the upright drum smoker. The very first thing you worry about is what was in the smoker before. Uh, in the case of this, it was a non-toxic item. However, there's a film that's, uh, that's inside of it uh, that they spray inside of it, uh, even for non-toxic stuff. I think this thing had uh, Cairo syrup or something in it that needs to be burned out. So it's actually a pain in the you-know-what just prepping the barrel. Well, with this, since this is made of steel from the factory and it's never, you know, it's never held anything, you don't have that problem. The other thing is on the, this is the finish that you put on the outside. Now, most of the people that have them on the Barbecue Brethren, they're really living up to the standard of ugly drum smoker. But some people have actually put a pretty finish on it. But then the question is, is how long is this finish going to last? Um, is it, especially on the bottom, is it going to burn out? And the other thing is all the different contraptions that we use to make the UDS work. It is bigger than this. And without a rack system where you can hang stuff, this thing actually smokes more than the UDS, even when you add Weber shelves and all that other stuff. Um, so right out of the box, this thing is small. Think about how your wife is going to feel about this in the garage, even though it's unrolled. 
and think about how this kind of just tucks away. Um, and everything goes back inside of it. So it stores away pretty pretty nice. It's lightweight. Um, and it comes with a rack, a nice, uh, a nice rack, uh, which can go inside. And it comes, of course, with a lid and a stand. And we'll get to all those different parts that it comes with. Uh, but right now, today, I just wanted to introduce myself and do a serious uh, lowdown on the UDS. The UDS, by the way, is variable. Um, I mean, you, when you design it, you can pop the temperature up and pop the temperature down. This right here is going to be more or less set it and forget it. So the question is, do you want to be tweaking your UDS, which is kind of fun for some of us, or would you rather get to tweaking your recipes? Okay? So... Um, now, without further ado, let's just go over what you get and how to put together this thing. Let's take a look at all the assembly that's uh, required for this thing. Okay. Alright, so this one comes with your pit barrel cooker. This right here with the nice little horseshoes on it. That is your stand. Put the stand there. This. your barrel cooker. This is a charcoal basket. I got some charcoal and actually even some wood chips that are left in there from last time. You get a wire rack. Uh, so those of you who don't want to hang, you can still do it. Cook directly over the coals. Or somebody who wants to do kind of a hybrid where you hang for part of the way and then lay it down, uh, you can certainly do that. Now normally if you're hanging you're not going to be using the rack but I'm just going to leave it in there for right now. You have the rebars. Okay. And you have eight hooks. And this handy dandy little hook lifter. In addition to that, you have the lid. Now, on the UDS, a lot of people season that UDS uh, with, you know, Pam cooking spray or some type of oil. You don't need to do that with this. The only thing that I used was a chicken. My first smoke is the chicken. And I've only smoked one time and look at the seasoning. Perfect, almost a mirror gloss on there. So there you go. Let's do this one more time. All right. Let's see how fast this is. Base. Pit. Charcoal basket. Optional grate. Bars. Hang your meat. Lid. Don't lose this. Okay. When you get your pit barrel cooker, it comes with these instructions. Now, if you lose these instructions, it's no problem. They're available for download on the website. Now, it says here at the bottom bin of your PC, PVC, it's adjusted to halfway open upon arrival. Now what I like to do, and you may want to use a marker for this, but I like to take my screwdriver and score it right here, just a slight mark. Maybe one, some of you don't want to scratch a powder coat on, on it, but I'm putting a little nick right there so I know where halfway is. Now, according to the instructions, if you live at the elevation of sea level up to 2,000 feet, you'll adjust your cap to a quarter of the way open. Now, there's a halfway. It's right there, I guess it's going to be a quarter of the way open because it's not going to uh, go down any further. This is halfway open and three quarters of the way if you're 5,000 to feet, so something kind of like that. And you may want to put marks on there. The only thing is, 
is when I did the first smoke on there halfway, I didn't think about adjusting it, and I was really satisfied with the results. And it was a windy day. So, you know what I'm going to do? I adjusted mine a little bit down, just a little bit. And the reason why is because I did chicken last time. I was very satisfied with the results, but I'm doing ribs this time. And I'm a little worried about the tip burning, so I want to make sure I do exactly what he said. That seems like about a, a quarter of an inch. I mean, a quarter of the way open. All right?